so in today's video i'm actually going to show you guys how to request for the declaration of value how to actually fill it up okay so many of you guys have gotten acceptance into various italian universities and then you are at the stage of applying or requesting for the declaration of value because some of you have had to do pre-enrollment with it and others have pre-enrolled without it but then you still need to request for the declaration of value so this is the document okay this that of for um, ghana every embassy and how their document looks like i've seen um the dov document for other countries and it looks different but then yeah let's use the english version because the other ones the other one i saw is in italian so basically this is the document so this is how you're going to fill this was shared um by an admin on our students telegram student page okay so yeah you can actually do join us on telegram i'm going to leave the details in the video description so your name nita sowa it should match that of the details on your passport and that of your educational documents as well so born on you're going to write like you know <laughs> that details there and then in you're also going to write um that details there so you can see this is your date of birth here your place of birth okay then here your country is going to be ghana then resident of so your city you're going to include that then your physical address you just write whatever it is that is your physical address you're going to write it here then you're going to move on you state your telephone number and then your email address so an example this is not what i'm going to write if i was like you know yeah but then um so here you include your email address at this section then your citizenship i'm a proud guardian okay in possession of like you know type of document so passport then passport number you just write your passport number then issued by okay so the authority that issued your passport you're going to write um the like you know that authority here then the date of issue you're going to write that here okay then you're going to calm down here you're going to declare everything that is going to be included in your actual declaration of value so here you are supposed to include that of your level of education so having completed da 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 in a country the country that is why whichever country you are you got your qualification from that is where you have to go and request for your declaration of value so an example bachelor's okay having completed um you know bachelor's degree an example in ghana okay so here i'm going to calculate the years spent in primary school so for me i think it it six yeah like um six years and then from uh, um, so the 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 year okay so the month and then the year you're going to write it here and then two the month and the year you're going to write it here so my class one from primary one to primary six you have to include that details here then you move to years spent in junior high school um that's three years then from you include the month and then the year here and then two you include the month and the year here okay now you're going to move down to years spent in secondary education so here is your highest qualification the bachelor's that you are going to request for declaration of value but then it has to include all of this so that when you do the calculation they will be able to verify if you've you've had the minimum um you know required number of years for education in italy so with this the embassy can know if you've had the minimum or not so yes went in um secondary education so you write just the total here um then does it like three years then you just include it here then for senior high school because the secondary education can be different okay some people did tech some people did o level some people did you understand yet then you come here 
if it's for senior high and you spent like an example let's say three years then you're going to write three years if you did four years you're going to write that then from the date the year and to the month and the year you write that here if you did tech or vocational training then you're going to fill this section with the details if you did O levels and A levels, then you're going to fill this part of the details. Okay. Yes, spent in tertiary education. So you write the total here. Um, yeah, you're, you're going to write the total here. Then if it's four years, you're going to write it. If it's five years, you're going to write it. If it's three years, you're going to write it. Okay. Well, who went to a technical university? Probably they might have done three years there. And then they went to the university to do two years. The university to do two years so you see this matches up with the five years that i've written here then you come down you're wishing to obtain what are you wishing to obtain what you are requesting for is that of a university so it's for university enrollment so when you come down to this section then you're going to click on yes here not like yes you you will just take it so you're requesting for legalization and that of the declaration of value okay so yeah that's what you need to take note of then you're going to come down on the following document you're going to state every document okay every document that you had actually um you, you have declared previously so it's going to be here we are going to go with okay bachelor's bachelor's degree bachelor's degree in whatever bachelor's that you have okay so your bachelor's degree certificate um and transcript everything that you have you're going to state it you can just write bachelor's degree certificate okay transcript of records high school high school diploma certificate and then that of your high school remember they asked for your summary of grades as well so you're going to include that as well so high school um report cards or whichever you had included if it's um transcripts then you're going to include it so basically yeah then you come to this section to be enrolled in the university of so whichever university you're going to you're going to write it so an example let's use an example if you're going to um hey, what i read <laughs> bolognas example okay economics and management okay faculty let's just go with that to pursue a bachelor or master in then you write the details here so an example let's look at a master in international management bachelor in international management then the date that you filled it let's take what's today's date 22nd oh for 2024 your signature you fill your signature then you can see down here they've written sometimes you are not present for the declaration of value so you send someone else to submit it for you so the person you've delegated to go um, and do that for you you can see your details of the person who deposited the document other than the bearer of the document so yeah so name you're going to the person's name details the surname the person's date of birth place of birth address telephone number you kind of like put out the date the person that submitted it the date here and then let's say like an example today is not 24 22nd 04 24 and then the person's signature the, the um, delegate's signature your delegate's signature is going to be here so basically that is it so and then that is it yeah just done